Hey, this is the spiky box I got for Christmas. Look at electrical tape and spray. And it's sort of confusing. I don't think I'm getting it to work right or something because I'll just, I have to. The power switch doesn't even turn off and on. Like it, it turns on, but it doesn't turn off. And so I, I can start by controlling it, but if I leave it for a few seconds, I can't control it anymore. See, like, already. It's weird. I don't get it. You're supposed to be able to program it, but I find it sort of confusing. It's, it's supposed to respond to your voice as well, but I couldn't get it to do that either. Well, that's because I think it needs the iPod, but I don't know if it's compatible with the iPod Touch 4th generation. Because it's supposed to be able to use the iPod Nano or the iPod Touch um, 1. But... I don't know if there's an app that it's supposed to have to make it's it work. Working. Because I already went to the app store and it didn't have any app for this robot. So I don't know how to, I'm going to use this. They're supposed to make it change the channel on your TV and stuff, but I don't know how you make it do anything. Seems like. I tried to make some actions last night and I don't know how to activate them. Because I got the software on my computer, but I don't know if it's working right or not. Because I'm doing it on a Windows 8 computer and this is, was made in 2008, so it might not work on the newer stuff. Oh jeez. You guys might be wondering why I don't have the other arm on. It's because I'm missing one piece. Um, I'm missing a black piece, one of these black pieces. I think it might be, I might have forgot at home or something. Hopefully it's not lost. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this button doesn't even do anything. Oh wait. That puts it to sleep. Like I don't get how the music works either. I know I don't have music on here but it's... I'll get the box, because it says it's supposed to do, like, a lot of cool things, but I can't make it do anything. And I don't know how. It looks to me like I don't even have the instructions with me. Like, see, it, you're supposed to be able to talk to it. But I, it doesn't seem like it's really responding to anything. I don't know. If you use this electrical tape... Uh. And right here it says made for iPod, but it's not really specific. It says, he ha has feelings when you talk to him. He reacts with various movements, facial expressions, sounds, and lights. He has two personalities, good guy and bad guy. I can't really get him to do half that. <laughs> but it drives up very fast. <laughs> Dad's also looking up stuff to fix the ro red RoboSapien V2 <laughs> with that broke last night. <laughs> Five minutes. And it says it's compatible with iPod and other MP3 players. It doesn't really say anything yeah, much about very, iPod Touch. Uh, he, will, to he will play your favorite music in his stereo. 
in stereo and will dance to the rhythm. I don't even know how you make them do that when it's not even responding to the scene. I don't want to get another device What's just to work called? this toy. What? Spiky Vox. Right. What's... That's the name of the robot you built? Yeah, Spiky Vox. How do you spell it? A warrior robot, and it says you can program them, make them do a, your own scenario. I tried that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to activate them. It was sort of confusing. And here's where it says you can change your channels and stuff. You can program four channels, but on the software, I didn't see that at all, and I don't know how you do that with that remote. <laughs> Includes in the box more. You look online. Includes 200 parts, building instructions, activation instructions, and a small card with a vocal com with the vocal commands. Small card. I don't know where the card is. Oh wait. Oh, I think I know what it is though. I like how it says computer not included. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> See there, I, I don't know if that's the kind of iPod I need. It looks like it because it... Installation? What? Music, videos, photos. Yeah. And I, See, I don't know if there's an app for the iPod Touch. Because I looked and it said no results or whatever. So, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even see this part on the software. So, I, I tried exploring the software a little yesterday and I, di I didn't find much. I might not... <laughs> hmm. I heard there's like a mini version or something and a big version, so I'm not really sure. Maybe I have the wrong software or something. I don't know. It's got the USB port right there. The batteries under there. I don't... See, but again, yeah, I can't even turn it off because the switch doesn't even push in it. So it, it stays on, but it doesn't do anything. Really. And then you can switch it to download, which I did have that one. I put in the new actions, but... <laughs> I've never really had anything like this before, that's why it's confusing. <laughs> and I've never even heard about this before. <laughs> and this is a 2008 robot, so it's pretty old. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so I don't even think the 4th gen iPod was even made, so that's why I think it's probably not compatible with it. It's got these. I I think it's probably supposed to connect to the head jack, but then you can't even connect the iPod to it. So I think it has to work with something else. Something else that I don't even have. <laughs> I don't know.